we are underway in Buffalo. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play. It's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing go. him to get right. to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have injury. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Ritter to throw it. On the move to his left. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that falls incomplete. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Steps away. Going across the field, and that will easily be intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, they certainly weren't afraid to let it fly early, and they hope that will keep the defense honest and keep the offensive guys excited about getting back out there. They are in attack mode in this game. It did backfire a little bit. Now you're just hoping your defense can keep them off the scoreboard so you're not facing a deficit the next time you run out there. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Now a second and six. Now Allen. Flush to his right. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Hard throw, incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. It's a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today for them. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. 
the Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Setting up the screen for Cook. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. To throw, it's Allen, eluding the pressure right. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a three-point game. So the interception, that had him set up in golden shape, but no first down comes of it. And in the end, no points come up. And Brandon, I tell you, in a sudden change offense, you must capitalize. This is where you can really swing momentum in your favor. But that time, they let him off the hook. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. Room here to run. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That good for 22 at a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. B. John Robinson, 25 yards. And the Falcons are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. And this is no good. He missed it. Not a good start here in the kicking department as this remains a 6-3 score. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Throwing on first down is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Ebikati. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. 
it didn't exist. Now Allen throwing on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Scott Miller deep for Atlanta. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Able to get away. Ritter has it knocked down. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you are closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. And Cook getting the call there on first down as he works his way forward for a nice gain of five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Allen. Escaping the pressure right. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. The Butte touchdown, Bills. Naeem Hines. 28 yards and the Bills have retaken the lead extra point by Bass up and good and that will make this a four point game after the touchdown Bass to kick it away This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he's going to be out of bounds across the 50. Great return. Now that's the kind of return that warms the heart of a special teams coach. He'll be pushing us next time, Brandon, to make sure his guys are introduced in the starting lineups. These guys have such an influence on every game. The unsung heroes, remember, they have their own meetings, their own practice time, heck, their own spot on the bench in order to be ready to play each and every week. 84 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and three. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. 
Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Looking to throw it here. Ritter, they'll roll him out right. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Ritter now, rolling to his left. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Bills are going to get the football back. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. A final shot before half for Allen. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. A final shot before break. Allen looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now left side on the swing pass. A very good move, but for a short gain out near the 32. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to lead to a third down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. 
And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Robinson up the middle. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 28, it's second and five. They'll run again here with Robinson. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 99 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They'll run with Patterson, and he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Down, to 32. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. The Ritter back to throw. Here's a screen for Robinson. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. Heineke with a third and goal. He'll buy some time right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second down, Cook. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. From the 32 now. Here's first and ten. Allen going to throw. Flush to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Here's second and 10. 56, 56. Now Allen. Out to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. And this offense on third down today, a pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and 10. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Allen going to go on fourth down. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. Second and 10. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 32 yard line. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Again, it's Cook. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 22. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Well, that was big. Needed a few yards to pick up the first. Slim lead here in the fourth quarter. And they turn to the big fella, the fullback, to get it done. And you know, as my partner, you know I'm old school, right? You know I love those mastodons that carried the ball way back in the day that were a key part of the offense. And now, when they need them, when they need those key yards, those tough grind them out yards, the fullback's going to get the ball. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come up now third and three. Now Allen. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in about a time. 